it is uh, great to see everybody here. Uh, wonderful New Year is beginning now. And uh, in China, you know, is uh, have a great holiday, especially the Spring Festival. Uh, we call the Chinese New Year. We'll be continue to celebrate almost one year. It is a great uh, celebration for every year. Normally, we are celebrated from the first day of the Chinese New Year and to the 15th, uh, the Lantern Festivals, you know. Uh, so this is about 15 days. So almost people is beginning to work, study. Yeah. So it's finished uh, the Chinese New Year holidays. But also we have a long title in Chinese language is long title. Long title is meaning the dragon lift up the head. The dragon lift up the head day is what day? Everybody guess, you know? <laughs> it's in the Chinese calendar, February 2nd. So in the Chinese calendar, the Chinese New Year, will be the Chinese calendar, the January 1st. So the long title, the dragon lift up the head is on the 2nd February. So this, the day actually, you can look the name of the day is dragon lift up the head, meaning the dragons wake up, is everything is come back to normal. It start work, study, really, really. That day is end of the Chinese New Year celebration. So really is luckier Chinese people is every year working 11 year and holiday for one month. <laughs> yeah, but um, anyway, I say on most people it's only about two weeks or some people only one week's holidays, but in the traditional, the, the, the old, uh, the traditional is lots of people, especially for the farmer, there will be rest for one month until the 2nd of February, the Chinese calendar start to really come back to normal. So I just come back from Hebei province, Yongnian, back to Shanghai. On today's Sunday, I just come back on the Friday. Yeah. And uh, because uh, I'm go back to the, the Tai Chi hometown, uh, first reason is for the gathering of the family celebrate the Chinese New Year. But also, uh, uh, during the Chinese New Year uh, season, we have a uh, lot of uh, uh, memory. Uh, service for the passing uh, the, the family member. So especially for the, the all the masters, the grandmasters and the grandfather, my father and my mother. So we have a memory service during this celebration, the period. So first uh, in the third of January, yeah, and uh, lots of, uh, and also the 15th, of the January, we all have the service. Yeah, so that's why I am is in the hometown so long, almost uh, one, more than one month actually. And uh, we have uh, the family uh, meetings and also I visiting the, the hometown, the government, the local government. Yeah, so that's, I just come back. So it's nice to see everybody here again during the new year, okay? And we really beginning the class. And I have to say sorry again, our class until now started. But yeah, this is the reason, that's why it's a little bit inconvenient for me to have a class at the Yongnian. Yeah, because the Zoom link is not that easy to operate in China. Yeah, it is a Chinese, the software, but it is not very common to, uh, software for the normal peoples. 
So I have to back to Shanghai to have the, the class. And also the Isabella also is uh, very understand me and, and uh, give me the long period holidays. Thank you, Isabella. <laughs> the thank you, the center give me so understanding and uh, I'm so happy to come back. Yeah. And uh, of course, we have to keep going, okay? Move on to the A form of the authentic young style circulated. And the uh, last lesson, and we are study up to the single whip. It is right. Yeah, because I have a few classes and also, uh, but from my memory, the last lesson is up to the single whip. The single whip movement, it is very important movement of the young style Tai Chi. And also, it's not only young style Tai Chi have a single whip. It's not only the Tai Chi have a single whip. And the lots of the Chinese martial art also have single whip, this movement. Our Tai Chi, especially the young style Tai Chi single whip, the movement is a both stance. The single whip, but also uh, like a Chen style Tai Chi, the single whip, it is a horse there, but also have little bit solid, empty, different, but looks more like a horse there at uh, single whip. And also have a Sun style Tai Chi single whip, is a two part, yeah, it's not a hook. But Yang style Tai Chi, it is a very clear. It's a both stand and uh, it's a single whip movement. And palm, cock up and hook and going down. But also in the Shaolin, okay, the external martial art also have a single whip. Now their single whip is, is sitting stand single whip. So, is not only Tai Chi and also not only young style Tai Chi have a single whip. So this movement, it is a very common movement in martial art of China. So friends, Tai Chi friends, so you have to good practice. And also the single whip movement is very important. You have to make sure your hips and your shoulders direction. Because in this movement, our body is not really exactly like hips, the direction. Okay, I'm facing to you in the front. Okay, the single whip movement. You look, the hips, it's about 45 degrees, okay? The hips. So it's, the hips is like a, this direction, diagonally. Yeah. It's not a straight, but also it's not a flat cross. It's 45 degrees, the hips. But our shoulder, it cannot be exactly also 45 degrees. We, our shoulder is more, okay? You can see the, the different angles, yeah. If you are doing same, uh, looks also quite similar, but the movement will be big difference. So our upper body should be more than 45 degrees, single whip. So for this movement, you can see, you really can't see clear in the camera. But when I'm explaining to you, you know, oh, the hips and the shoulder is not a flat, it's not exactly the same, that's right. Some movement is almost the same. For example, the 
parting the wild horse's mind. Okay, our opening form, then parting the wild horse's mind is movement. That movement, the hips exactly same, the single wing. But our shoulder almost same hips. So it's also is about 45 degrees. Okay, the parting the wall horses in mind, this movement. But in single with these movements, <coughs> our hips is 45 degrees, but our shoulder is more. This is our single width movement. Okay? So you can see <clears throat> the hips and the shoulder is turning. It's a little bit cross. So that's why when we are doing Tai Chi, we always say the silk rolling. Wherever the hands, silk rolling. What is silk rolling? It's very important is make sure your elbow is still. So your upper arm is not moving. And your lower arm turning wrist. So from the elbow to the wrist is have a twisting. Have a twisting. So this is, we say the silk rolling. And silk rolling is very important the technique in the Tai Chi. And lots of people, they don't understand. They lift up the elbows very often. So that's why their silk rolling is not 100% to practice and to show you. But our body spine is big rolling of the silk. Also have a silk rolling. Especially is for example, I say the elbow to the wrist is silk rolling. So elbow you can be thinking is Ming Man. Your waist, the, the hips area, it can be is like your elbow. And the wrist is your neck. So when we doing a movement, look, is hips, okay. When you open the movement, single whip here, open, okay. The hips and still and post the movement here already fixed. And then my upper body is still going. And then not to go to the same place, but yeah, more big. The, the direction is more than 45 degrees. Yeah. So in this time, actually the hips and the upper body is really, is not on the one line. So it's in the different, so you can see the body, every movement, especially the still movements, our body is twisting. Okay, so Tai Chi is very important. We say the waist. So actually is upper body and the lower body, the joint area. So you need to twist. And almost twist is upper body's movement to make body twist. So we say xiao chan si he da chan si. So it's the little silk rolling is meaning on the hands. And the big silk rolling on the upper body. So two kind of the silk rolling to make our body especially the nerves, the muscle, 
And then we say the Jing Lu, the Qi system, and it's connecting and twisting and excising. Yeah. So that's right. Uh, when we're doing a single whip movement, it's very important to understand the, the position correct. Make sure your position is yeah, hips and upper body. It, it is not exactly, this is wrong. Yeah. I think the world is the main. It is same. But the single whip, no, is different. Okay? So from the side, yeah. it's not this. Okay? It's, can you see the difference? Yeah. If you're doing this, it's wrong. Is open front and the back, all right. Single whip move. So, this single whip is practicing the last lesson. And the, actually, I teach you single whip is last year, and the new year now. Today, we are have to practice the, the next movement, it's called the raise hand. The raise hand movements is very similar to the hand strumming the lute. Yeah. The raise hand is like this. And the hand strumming the lute is like this. So hand strumming the lute. Raise hand. In China, especially for the new students, all practicing the simplified style, the modern style Tai Chi, the people, they are thinking, oh, raise hand is right side of the body in front. Hand strumming the lute is left side body in the front. That's all. That's the difference is. No, this is totally wrong and big mistake. Like I tell you before, single whip, the body movements and the parting the wild horse's mind, the body movements, they looks very similar. The both stands, yeah, all both stands. Yeah. Parting the wild horse's mind, that single whip. Single whip and parting the well horse's mind. So this body is different. And also the technique is totally different. So that's why the raise hand and hand strumming the lute. Also the body and the movement the movement moving is totally different. And their technique, of course, is different. So raise hands movements, you have to think in raise hand. Oh, the name is called raise hand. So how to raise? If your hand not come down, you don't need to raise, right? So first, you have to be from up movement to relaxing the shoulder. Drop the elbow and relaxing your wrist. Get ready. That's a one. Okay. One. Okay. Now, before you raise, See, still now, my head is high. You don't need to raise. So you have to be turn body, okay, turning the waist and the elbows moving back. So this is what we say is folding your shoulder and elbow and wrist. Shoulder relax, okay. 
folding your arms. Arm is folding. So bending your elbow, this is called folding. So folding exercise is very important of Tai Chi, especially young Tai Chi, okay, folding. So you can see my elbows back. So for Tai Chi exercise, is okay, it's great exercise for your shoulder and elbow joint, right? But this inside have a martial art. So, woman, Zhongguohua, so, Yan Guan, so eyes looking four directions and your ear listen eight directions. Now eyes you only can up or down, left, right. But your ear can listen eight. So Tai Chi is to give you to make yourself quiet, to feeling, to healing back. So we are movements. It's not only our enemy is in the front. Our enemy can be coming everywhere. Okay, so our practicing also is not only one direction in front or left, right only. No, we have to front, back, up, down, left, right. So this is, you have to understand, okay, the, the environment of your body around, you all have to be understand. You all have to be very clear in your mind. So when you're doing movement, one, okay, I get ready, ready. Now two, okay, elbow back. So this movement is not only exercise the joints, is the technique. The people behind you, you're not going to turn and give a hit, okay? So you got feeling, all people, it is close to you. You understand, you have the healing. Yeah, yeah. So this is very important, the elbow and the Tai Chi certain posture is Peng Lu Jian. Ward off, roll back, press, push. Tai Lie Zhou Kao. Down, up. Tai Lie Zhou, elbow. Kao, back. Front, back, left, right, center. So in the certain posture, also have very important posture is elbow and the back. So elbow and the back, it is very important in Tai Chi. So this movement we are doing, lots of people raise hands, oh, they're only thinking, okay, I drop my arm down, then lift up my arm, that's it. Yes, my Tai Chi friend, you see lots of people practice Tai Chi, it is like that, single whip, <laughs> right? <laughs> so almost, especially doing the simplified modern style Tai Chi. Okay. It's beautiful. Tai Chi dancing. <laughs> but it's lost, lost totally. So you, we must be shoulder, elbow, open the chest and get ready and hit. 
So this is a martial art, okay? Of course, we don't want to hurting people, but this is people coming to me. We are not going to take, we are protect. So it's one, two, all right. I use my hip, elbow to hit. Okay, now you can see, I'm turning back to the front. So my elbow is 45 degrees out. And because my body is turning, so actually, especially the left elbow is a straight back. So after your, this technique, dear friend, you can see my hand. Where's my hand now? It's naturally down. So from high up, shoulder relax, and turn body, elbow hit. Okay, now my hand is naturally because the body position changed. It's not my hand drop. My hand never drop. My hand always in this position. Only when after my take, my hands drop. So from here, now, you can really doing raise hand. Okay, so I'm doing with the front. You can see from here. So now I'm only explaining the upper body movements, okay? The lower body movement, I will explain in separately. Don't worry, I will tell you later. Yeah. Single whip, relaxing the shoulder. Okay, now two elbows back turning the body. So my hand is automatically and naturally down. So now, raise. And give out. From the side. One. Please look. The hands in front of your body. Two. Turning the body, elbows back, and relaxing the shoulders still. Two, three, raise. So lift up your hands close to your chest, and then push your palm together and give out your arm to in front of your body. So. This movement is, you can see, after opening is catch. They have a catch, wrist, catch, elbow. This technique is, so you can feel it is kind of a press, okay? It's no press out, it's press to each other. Catch. Now, after you catch the person's arm, especially the wrist, left hand's wrist, right hand is elbow. Okay, push. Now, you really is a lot people's arm, especially the low arm. So after you lock the arm, then you give out. So you push people out. So this is raise hand. So you cannot say, oh, this movement, raise hand. It is only for that. No. They have lots of technique and combine together. And your enemy also is not that silly to give you a hand, to make, give you a lock up. Okay? So this is our practice only. 
But when his situation is different, you can do anything. For example, people shake hand with you, right hand. Normally we are our right hand and left hand shake. But when sometimes people shake hand, uh, of, of course, 99.9 .9 shake hand is a good friend, but you never know. So when you can, and people doing something bad to you or pulling you or pushing you, and then very easy, you are lift up, lock up and Go, but now this is the left side of your body. It's not the right side. So that means the raised hand is not only our Chi practice is on the right side, but doesn't mean the raised hand only use right side. You can, of course you can use the left side. Okay, it's no problem, but the technique you have to be exactly the, the movements, the details. You have to understand the raised hand, okay? The two arms must be go back. Elbow, I mean the two elbow must be go back. So the movement is not the only front. Also have a back, also have a turning. Okay, this is the first. And the second, the raised hand, you need to up from lower area to lift up is the second. And the third is press. Press left and right. So this is a big different to the Hand strumming the lute. Hand strumming the lute is the movement drop. Is not a press, it's not a give out. And the raise hand is lift up, press, and the give out. So this is raise hand. And this is and strumming the lute. And strumming the lute, the technique always drop down, drop down. And the other is go out, but the body different. So this is in the future, okay? And uh, we are learning the hand strumming the lute. I can give you more details of the hands and twist, but in the raised hand, this movement. Now, I think you can be very, very clear to make sure the difference between raised hand. And you also, I believe you understand why, the reason this is important. And the body position, and you cannot be exactly like your hips. And the hips, is 45 degrees, but to your body have to be. Mm, that's right. This is raise hand. It's not like that. You, you, you can see my jacket. Okay. Yeah. You can see my jacket. If my jacket is like that, that means 45 degrees, same hips only. So the raised hand, okay? It should be like that. This is raised hand. But hand strumming the lute is like that. Yeah. So hand strumming the lute, body hips similar to the parting the wall horse's mind. I think the wall is mine, is both stands. And the hands from in the loot is sitting stands. Single whip is both stands. But raise hand 
So this new movement today is sitting stance. But the body and the hips, single whip and the raised hand, similar. Hands drumming the lute and the parting the wahoo's mind is similar. Okay, I cannot say exactly 100% same. No, nothing is same, but similar. So you can, you can feel in your bodies. Okay, but after uh, talking about arms only, uh, almost time I'm talking about, now I have to speak about my lower body exercise, the movement. The raise hand movements is most difficult in the legs. And also is very, I mean, uh, how the words is tiring, very tiring, very tough, very strong feeling, very hurting. No, this is not the right good words to hurt. But it is, you can feel it, okay? The muscle is very sore, hot. So this raise hand movement, it looks very easy, okay? I show you from here, the single whip. Single whip, please concentrate on my lower body. One, okay, we say turning, 15 degrees, one, two, turning the body, elbows back, three, four, especially now, my left side muscle is burning. Whatever, I've been doing more than 45 years, Tai Chi, still burning. It doesn't mean, oh, I'm only doing one year, two years, three years, I'm burning. But after 10, 10 years, I'm not, no. In this muscle, you always can feeling if you're doing right position, you can feel your side muscle here is really burning. Okay, if you feel hurting on the knee, is wrong, definitely wrong. So only more here and the calf muscle, the side muscle and the calf muscle. You can feel it. If you only feel only the knee area is hot or sore, something wrong. The position is wrong. So why is the position wrong? It's because the single whip when you're doing the movement, please look. One. Please look how much I'm turning. Only 15 degrees, look. Only about 15 degrees. Only about a little bit moving. But lots of people turn. That's wrong. This is wrong, okay? Now you are more than 40, 15 degrees. You're now about 45 degrees. Why? Now I'm back to the front again, look. Okay, if you are turning 15 degrees only and lift up, look. Especially your growing area, your hips, you have a good 
okay? Comfortable stance. More comfortable stance, your body weight will give your left foot more weight because you are comfortable and you can get more relaxed. When you get more relaxed, more body weight will go to the supporting foot. And then you have a greater position. What do you mean greater position is your hips and the compact, okay? The hips in the right position is the hips not stick out. Hips is in the right position. That's the first. Second, your knee pointing to the toe. The knee like this is wrong, okay? You must be pointing to the toe. So if you everything movement on the solid foot, you will feel how your body's weight come to this leg. And then you will feel the side muscle is really feeling. But if you are still turn more than 45 degrees, then you can see whatever you're doing, the movement. You can't see the growing opened. Your legs will look. Now my legs is not a standing on the same line, okay? Even you're not standing on the same line. Even you have a big gap, look. Still have a big gap. But still you look. My leg cannot be opened on right position. So the lower body don't have a great supporting for the body. So you won't feel it. The whole body's weight, very comfortable, very natural, and sink to your left foot. So in these movements, if you're doing the movement right, you will really feel the heart, the soul, but it's not knee, it's on the side muscle, almost. But if you feel, oh, that movement is, I'm so hmm, relaxed, uh, same other movements. You must be wrong. You must be wrong. So please have a more practice, okay? Have feel the movements. Okay, now, please. Have a good look. I will practice front, back, left, right. So you can see the movements exactly works. So I'm facing to you front. The correct movement. One. Two. Three. Raise hand. Okay. One, two, three, four. Raise hand. Now back, you can see my back movement, how to work. One, two, three, four. Okay, now this side, okay? Also from more right side of the move. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
So this is raise hand movements. And uh, four directions have been practiced, okay? Uh, I hope you can see very clear from the different angles position and different view. Yeah, but now I go a little bit more close to the camera. You can more see my upper bodies, okay? I will be repeating again that movement in the different position again. Raise hand, uh, single whip. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, the back. Body, tongue waist, elbows back. Three, four. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, <clears throat> I think you can see more clear, okay? At the full body, whole bodies and the half body. So today we are sharing the raise hand this movement. Actually it's very important movement to understand, okay? The sitting back and uh, the arms movement going forward. And before we are going forward, also uh, one the special technique, okay, I will tell you is when the arms movement is not very, is not only back or lift up only, okay, it's not go up like this, okay? I want you doing a little bit circle up. Okay, so when you open your hole after, then you are lift up. Can you see little circle in here? Yes, great. I can see, ah, very good. Yes, all right, mm, great. And also please look, my fingers pointing is don't be drop your fingers, okay? Cock the wrist, very important. Then push to me. Yeah. So you feel it like, a, like I have massage. Yeah. You feel it is I have a circle. Yeah. It's going in towards your body. Yeah. Back. Okay. In towards your body. Lift up. Okay. When you lift up, you have to be lift up in front of your chest. From the, 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 around the pocket area, yeah. yeah. Now lift up to the chest. And the push and going out. So male. So 
we are practice Tai Chi must be slow, must be slow. But when we use, have to be fast. This movement. So this is a, the energy explosion practice. Some people thinking, oh, some Tai Chi, they have a fast movement, have a fudging movement. Thinking young style Tai Chi don't have, mm, of course, we are all have. Yeah. But we are not in when we are practicing the Tao Lu. But very important to make sure the movements, the way, the technique, it will help you very easy to using it. And you can be, when you are slow enough, then when you're doing fast, very quick, of course, you need to practice, but will be very quick. And the press and the give out. After, when you're holding, when you are holding people's arms, left, right, press. Okay, give out. In the Tai Chi movement, this movement is finished. But in the technique, so you can, because please look, my right toe is a little bit up. Why? Right toe a little bit up is get ready to go forward. So after from left, right to up and down, turning the arms and push the elbows up. So that's why our body have to be on the more angles is not here. It's get ready here, then easy. <sighs> okay, so today is raise hand. But I think this is very good. A raise hand. That means we have to raise up hand to get work. And uh, I wish the new year it will be uh, wonderful. Yeah. All right. Now, follow me. We are practicing three times from the beginning to raise hand. Okay, please. Opening form. Heart in the wall versus mind. Lift up your left hand. Single way. Raise hand. Okay. All right. Second time. Opening form. Heel turn. Heart in the wall versus the mind. Lift up your left hands. Single whip. Raise hand. One, two, three, four. Okay, last one, third time. Opening form, qi shi.
，也把分钟。他听的话不是这么。单边 ，single w h i p 你有木吗？提手上是 ，raise hand。Very important. Okay, the tailbone have to go in, and folding your hips, open your groin, and make sure your left knee exactly pointing your left toe at the fifteen degrees turn. Okay, and for don't forget to have a gap between, and the right toe is slightly up. Is get ready for go forward. All right, dear family members of Tai Chi, and uh, I'm today is very happy to sharing the A form of raise hand and join the New Year to my dear family members, and uh, it's a great and to see everybody here, and I hope everybody will have a very healthy. And a happy, wonderful New Year, and the China now getting more and more uh, better, and uh, the pandemic almost is gone. It's like it disappeared. We are go back to the normal. Yeah. So, but the last year, end of the year, December, it was big, very suffer time. Yeah. But it's good now. Yeah. So it's a.、Uh, Everybody have a happy life and a happy work. So I see so many ama my Tai Chi family members here, and especially Isabella. Thank you so much. Always、uh, keep on take care of my class, special my class. You are very take care of, and、uh, I I also thinking you have a wonderful Chinese New Year, right? Isabella, <laughs> yeah. Where are you now? In Portugal or? We just came back from Portugal. We had one week、uh, retreat in Lisbon, Lisbon.、Mm. I think in Portuguese Lisbon, it was wonderful. Oh, wonderful! Yes, yes. I miss there. I miss there. <laughs> Three years I haven't been there. I miss the food, especially, and also, of course, first miss. My Portugal friends, family members, yeah, obrigado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Louis said you are always invited, master. <laughs> yes. yes, yes, yes. Okay, so and uh, uh, I can see from uh, Argentina, uh, Uruguay, yeah. <laughs> and、uh, Indian, my friends, and、uh, other countries. KK, where are you from? KK. India, India people, India. Oh, okay, from <laughs> India. Good, good. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And Luis, from where? Where are you from? I'm from Portugal, from Lisbon. Oh, <laughs> we have we have、obrigado. met. Yes, obrigado. <laughs> you are always invited to come here. Okay, I will. will. Always will. welcome. <laughs> yeah, I've been continuous every year to Portugal, nearly fifteen years. Yeah, but because the pandemic, you know, stop my step. But I will be catch on, catch up. I will eat more tomato to catch up. <laughs> great, that's great. We all look forward to the day 
masterful when you could come come to Europe again, and we will uh, have a lot of parties, I'm sure. <laughs> and everyone, for masterful's next lesson, we will post it on the WeChat uh, and uh, the, the the groups. Yeah, and we will keep everyone informed. Thank you, thank you so much, Master Fu. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you everybody. Yeah. <laughs> okay, everyone. Yeah.